Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Bit of a voiceover on this one. I'm trying something different with the videos. We've got some shots from the phone and some shots from the camera. pretty apparent at this point that the squirrels aren't taking to the corn as much as the peanuts. As you'll see in a minute, we started throwing it all over the floor and trying to get the remaining peanuts. Also switch pellets this time around. Now on the, the Hades and 2 2. Pack a real punch. Make quite a mess though. You can see where the squirrels have been trying to get in there and nibbling on the feed tray. Just waiting for him to get in a good feeding pattern. Ready to take the cleanest shot possible. He's still searching for a peanut. He don't want that corn. Gives the pheasant something to eat though. One already dispatched on the floor there. The videos are muddled up and quite got the hang of the uh, phone app yet with editing. This one could, there's actually the grey dispatch just behind there, so it's a bit aggravated at the moment. You'll see when it walks back over to the tree. There's a little patch of nettles as well. There's, there's one actually inside there. So, rather wary at this point. I knew this one wasn't going to make his way up to the feeder. You could just tell by how skittish he was. Still waiting for the right opportunity to take the shot. There he is. Nice, clean, perfect placement. Very gory. The Hades really do make a mess. I don't know why, but they really do. Quick dispatch to the back of the head. Still as clean, but not the most desirable place. But it does the job. Very animated, this one. But it is just nerves. Yeah, the feeder was a little bit empty. A couple of them actually tried getting inside. 
I filled it up after I picked him up. Didn't realise they chucked nearly 15 kilo of corn seed on the floor. Quick dispatch there. Another good, good shot placement. Perfect position that. Don't really know what went wrong here. Just committed to the shot. Just moved. And the second shot was a little rushed. So it was it was a kill shot. And it jumped off green and went about five yards and then and came to its end. Here's a view from further back. Just moves as I commit to the shot. And then the second shot's not great, but once again, didn't suffer. Much better, much cleaner. First time I've really used the phone as a second viewpoint. Not the greatest. It's, I have to invest in a video camera, I think. Another one, getting right in there. To no avail. Pretty sure he was dead before he hit the floor. But just noticed there on the top of the screen a jaybird. There's three or four around this area. It's just sat above the feeder. Watching this young man is uh, doing his thing. Cracking shot this. Stone dead. Doesn't make a move once it hits the floor. Literally stays in that position. Not a twitch. A wood pigeon. Actually had this. And two of the squirrels onto the barbie when I got home for tea. Quick shot, heart and lung shot, straight down. This is my back garden, just got a bit of a rabbit issue at the moment. Dispatched quite a few. This is just a couple I had one night. It's about 34, yeah, uh, 34 meters I think. Should have really switched to a uh, night vision here, but give him a little better picture. That shot off like it was never been hit, but it actually. Dispatched about 10 yards away. It's just a little look on that, I think. Far too far, it's about 60, 65, 70 meters. Not in my capability at the moment. Still new with the Wirac HW110. Just 
so I've been used to it. Going round and realised there was one a little bit closer. I think that was about 50. I was going to go for that, and then I saw this man. Plain and simple. 25 metres. Off your pot. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you can. We'll see you in the next one.